What's up guys, I'm currently editing this video. Um, I just got a package in the mail from Crankin' Reels and I wanted to open it and show you guys what it was. Huge shout out to them. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm kind of excited to open it, so let's go ahead and open it. Uh, I got a knife right here. I I really don't know what it is. It's a new company, they, they uh, hit me up and I was like, heck yeah, let's see what it is. It's a pretty big package. I think I feel a hat and a shirt or something, but yeah, I'm just doing this right before we get into the fishing. By the way, I was fishing like, this is this video takes place in like October, not whenever I'm posting it, I just never got to editing it. And now there's a lot of extra time and there's not a lot of content to make, so I'm just editing that video, but okay, let's see what this is. Okay, so Crank and Reels hat, I like it. Trucker hat. These are the only hats that'll fit my head, so that's awesome. I'll go ahead and put this on. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm liking it so far. Got this big sweatshirt. Catfish sweatshirt, I love that. Crankin' Reels, big catfish sweatshirt. That's awesome. Okay. Let's go. I'll put this right here. We still got like three more things in here. This is awesome. Little sneak peek. Okay. I'm a big catfisher, man. I love this stuff. Heck yeah or thin sweatshirt. That's really freaking dope, guys. Big shout out to Crankin' Reels. Let's get into the video. Y'all are gonna see Crankin' Reels soon. Let's go, boys. What's up, guys? I'll start back in another video, and today I'm getting my bass stuff ready. It is about 45 degrees, and we're going to get on some bass. So I got a lipless tut on, a spinnerbait tut on. Let me show you guys these. I uh, lift this right here, spinnerbait. Um, this is kind of a whack color for spinnerbait, but I'm just gonna throw it and then change to black and blue if it doesn't get anything, depending on water color. And then I got a donkey rig tied on. I'm, I might change that to a joke bait or something in a little, but it's been hard getting on a bite lately, I'll be honest. I've went for catfish, carp, and bass, have not caught crap. Hopefully going to this pond will change everything, but we'll see. So, hopefully we can get on fish today. And since it is fall, they're gorging on bait, so they might be pretty fat too. So if I can get the right bait in the right place, I think we should be set. And we should get on some bass and some big ones. So stay tuned, guys. This is going to be a cool video. I know you guys like bass fishing videos. And stay tuned. It's going to be a banger. Okay guys, so we are at the pond. There's currently a plane flying overhead. Um, last time I fished here, it was like non-stop action. I was casting in this deep spot, but the water, you can tell by right there, how it's kind of cracky. The water is probably down like five feet. Like look at that bank over there. The water is down a ton last time I fished here. So all the fish were concentrated in a certain spot. This time, I'm not sure where the fish are gonna be. We're throwing this lipless caught that imitation. I want this bad boy sink all the way to the bottom and see what we can do. So I'm just really trying to feel a fish on the end of my line. Like I have not caught a fish in so long. But you know it's fishing. So hopefully I'll be back with a fish on the other end of this. I'm really trying to get in all this fishing before I can, uh, before the season ends. Well, the season really never ends, but before you can fish like super comfortably, you know. But 
Crawdad imitation should do the trick. I know there's a creek that enters into here and I'm sure there's some crawdaddies. So we will see. Spinnerbait. I heard that is a really good bait to use in the fall and it's like a lot of people's go-to. Especially for my Instagram story. So in that poll. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me at outsider three R's and three underscores. This guy's dragging the bottom pretty good. All right, we're going over here. It's kind of hard to use a bait that you've never used before. It's, I mean, it's said to work, but you really have no clue, like, we're gonna catch anything because you have no confidence in it yet. Especially when you're not getting bites. This looks pretty juicy back here. I think that finesse is definitely going to be the way to go today. Not only have I caught fish on these here in the past, but I mean, it's cold. Like I've never caught fish on a moving bait when it's cold. So, and I mean, over here on this part, it's calm over there. It's windy. So I'll throw my spinner bait and my uh, lipless. But I think over here, these, this double fluke is the move. And I don't think I've ever made a video on these. I've talked about it in my Instagram posts. I I came here one time, caught a ton of fish on these, and I've never seen finesse tactic with this good of uh, action in the water. Like it looks so so alike bait fish schooling. Now I have realized that in ponds that don't have bait fish that look like this, it doesn't work as well. The ponds that don't have bait fish like this, but this has got a creek and a lot of the ponds have creeks. These are definitely the move. I I really have slayed them on this. Letting them sink and popping them a couple of times, it just really looks good. Guys, I just freaking had one. Felt like a good pull too. It may have just been in the bank, but right here at the bank, I had a fish. Oh, that makes me so mad. But it gives me confidence at least. I can't believe that just happened. We got one guys. On the drop. It's actually crazy because this is in shallow water. I was not expecting this. Yes. Finally, I didn't even have to do anything. This guy ate it on the drop. That is insane. Nice little guy. Thank you, buddy, for getting on my line. Look how fat he is. Gorging all these baits while um, getting ready for the winter. That's awesome. We got another. We had another. Okay. I see what's going on here. We got a school back here, boys. Ooh. Didn't reel up for enough. Well guys, this is just about sums up the day so far. I caught this fish in the back. I don't even know how that happened, but what the heck. I guess this is what's been eating my stuff, but. 
All right, so basically I put the crack and craw on the uh, on the shaky head, and I'm just gonna cast straight out in the middle and work it really slow and see what happens. I'm not sure what will happen, but hopefully it's good things. And guys, I kind of love how this looks in the water. Like, I love it. I think we're gonna get on something with this. We got one. On the shaky head, baby. Right on the drop again in the exact same spot. It's kind of crazy. There we go, little bud. We got another one. I accidentally turned the camera off. Literally the next cast. Oh my God, I just, let, why is my line coming out? But we caught this guy the next cast on the fall again. Um, I turned the camera off whenever I set the hook instead of keeping it on or turning it on, but yeah. Another, another fish, guys. That's freaking sick. The bite's starting to turn on, I guess. You guys see that right there? I missed another freaking bass. Oh my God. Oh my God. I set the hook on this and it freaking flew out of the water. Well, it's a nice fish. Not really nice, but you, you know what I mean. Oh my God, I'm sorry, bud. Well, hooked up again. Little tiny dude. This is like number six, guys. That little cracking crawler really did the job. Haven't caught a big one yet, but here we go. Caught like number six, number seven, I don't know. 